It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter, here with you on this Monday evening, a fine Monday evening to watch professional wrestling, or at least a reasonable facsimile of pro wrestling that is Monday Night Raw from Pittsburgh, PA. And also with me from Poughkeepsie, New York, he is the only one on the Mayhem Show roster with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? So, Sorg, let's talk about a podcast we're scheduling a month and a half from now. Let's <laughs> okay. get into it. Who is our guest, Sorg? Are you ready? Are you ready? A month and a half. Tell me who it is. Our guest will be, I'm lucky I know who's on this week. Sorg, we're not going to talk about this week. I want to know who is our guest for December 25th, 2019. I need to know. Did you say de- this is in- December? Sorg, I just need to know. It's good. Because we can't talk about anything that happened tonight. We can't talk about anything that happened yesterday because, God, did that suck. I need to know what's happening 18 months from now. Jeez. Are you saying that you have an issue that the fact that we're promoting a show and your next Universal Championship of Importance will be a month and a half from now? We're promoting two shows like that. Uh, well, yeah, we sort of are. So three we shows are total. Promoting, yes. And um, I'm sorry. I maybe, maybe I missed this. I'm wrong. How many matches are booked for Evolution? Uh, well, yeah, I think we got time for that. Do, do we? Do we? Do we? It's like a week before this. No, uh, I'm Sunday. asking. Do we Foley right now? What? What are the matches? Do we Foley? So email Do we Foley? Attention. What's happening? That, I, I wasn't asking him, but then I just realized what I was saying, and I turned uh, it into a gimmick. Yeah. You, were, you were inspired but, from the Hell in a Cell uh, po- oh, post show last night? Sure. Okay. Anyways, yeah. uh, which was fun. Actually, if you if you were not happy with Hell in a Cell, watch the, uh, the, the Mick Foley special that was filmed right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at the wonderful Mr. Smalls, which if you've caught me uh, on doing Awesome Thing of the Week for Awesome Cast on the River's Edge, network we do that from the studio in the back of that building nice yes so um anyways well tonight was monday night raw and oh, it sure was all right this was this was the rawest raw to ever raw there was raw. a lot of like stuff we've done in the past like the crooked general manager that puts himself in a championship match mike and is an idiot about doing so worst Bad GM ever. Here's what you do, Bronco. Yeah, I'm going back to fucking calling you Bronco because I'm not going to say acting general manager Baron Corbin. That's a lot of words to put in your mouth. It's definitely a lot to type also. For some reason, I know that. Um, Bronco, <laughs> Bronco, here's what you do. You ban Seth Rollins from ringside. If Seth Rollins comes to ringside, you strip him of the Intercontinental Championship. You ban Dean Ambrose from ringside. If Dean Ambrose comes to ringside, you suspend him. And then, because you're still an idiot, you don't think about Finn Balor. And then when you try to do the same shit that you did to Roman Reigns that you did to Finn Balor, guess what? Finn Balor is the one that makes the save, and that is actually a fun moment. As opposed to, let's just throw everyone on the screen. Also, in addition, you have guest referee Dolph Ziggler and guest timekeeper Drew McIntyre. Yes, absolutely. And, all right, I get it. If you want to intimidate the referee, fine. Have guest commentator Dolph Ziggler. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, guest ring announcer. Guest ring announcer, guest timekeeper. Paris and Briscoe knew... This shit. Yes. I would love if Drew McIntyre was the guest ring announcer. Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> Tallest ring announcer ever. Yeah. Oh, man. Just. Oh, there's so much. There's so much to unpack and yet so little to unpack from this Ross work. Well, well, you did get, well, at least the promise of what you wanted. A Ronda Rousey title defense. Uh yeah, we didn't get one. No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. That that that's that's from my old logging days. That's what we would call an in arena non match. It's a non match, Sorg. Mm. 
because there's no match taking place. Okay, okay, no referee involvement, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Um, Alex, I would be glad that you didn't watch Raw either. <laughs> uh, yeah, we basically have we basically have to be the, even more um, explanatory tonight because there's several people that said they they missed the uh, part or all of Raw and some hell in the Honestly, cell. I am jealous of the lot of you. <laughs> um, um, oh, sorry. Speaking of Ronda Rousey, since you brought her up, um, I did. I'm going to cut a Ronda Rousey promo, but I'm going to talk to you like a normal human being. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready for this. Hi, Sorg. How was your day? Hey, Mad Mike. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing just fine, Sorg, and now I'm going to really threaten you. She's got issues. <laughs> that was her promo. She walked out looking like she was being granted a make-a-wish to be a Raw Women's Champion, mm. all smiling and happy, and I want to be like all the guy champions because I can't name a female one. And then she just, like, looked dead into the camera and did her second of two faces and just screamed, who's got the guts, bitches? <laughs> yeah, okay. I get I'm it. I'm already a more entertaining version of Ronda Rousey. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Tina, I would prefer sitting in traffic because then I would get to listen to fine podcasts like the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I, it was fine. It was. Was it? Hey, we're setting up the super the, show. The the only fun part was that the riot squad came out, mm -hmm. and I would have actually liked to see Ronda versus Ruby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at the that be ones. that'd be really fun. I have a feeling we'll end up with it. I don't. No, I don't think so. I think we're just going to get tag matches. Mm -hmm. By the way, um. Lifelong wrestling fan, Ronda Rousey. So how do open challenges work? Yeah. Like, just fucking walk out there. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking walk out there and say, it's open challenge time. Like, this isn't complicated. You can ask a five-year-old how, how an open challenge works. We had three. Well, counting that, we well, that was an, an in arena non non match, I guess. But uh, <laughs> we we had we, three women's segments, segments tonight. Yeah. We have more. We have more women's segments, and we have matches booked for the all women pay per view. Now we do have because somebody did chime in in the chat room. What we do have, we do have. Uh, yeah, we have two matches. Lita versus with, Mixie. Mi yeah, Mi Mixie. Yeah, Mickey and Alexa Mixie. versus Mixie. Yeah, Mi yeah. Mixie, Pl Mixie Plitalik will be on <laughs> Evolution. <laughs> if only, right? Yeah, um, right. What else from tonight? I, I mean, I, I yeah, that was kind of a, a smudge at the at the at the end of Raw, but it was fun. Um, the crowd was with it, although most of them just wanting you know Roman to lose. Uh, yeah. I've never heard a double boo off before, but we got one in that main yeah, event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of interesting. Um, Sorg, I, I have a, I have another legitimate question. Hmm. So, when Seth Roman and Dean come out in their Shield gear, mm -hmm. uh, do they only rent that for like one week a month? Yeah, I, I think is, it's is that because like yeah. they're not the Shield? They're not the Shield. At nope. no point did they come out together. At nope. no point did any of them come through the crowd. No. So are you telling me that the shield isn't really back together and they just did a stunt the night after SummerSlam so Roman wouldn't get booed after beating Finn Balor? What? 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 That that's when the shield reformed. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, spoiler alert. We've done a lot of legwork to make sure Roman doesn't get booed, and it still doesn't work because when you leave him out there in a one-on-one -on -one match when he is supposed to be an underdog, right. Hey, and Braun Strowman is insul uh, insulting your hometown. Uh, okay. <laughs> in case you were wondering if he was the heel or not. He's not the heel. He's not the heel. No, he's definitely El not. Elias insults everyone's hometown, too. Guess what? People still want to walk with Elias. <laughs> like, am I wrong? Mm -hmm. By the way, do you want to know how bad this Raw was, Sorg? Mm. My favorite segment of the night 
had Bobby Lashley in it. Mm-hmm. But Leo right. Rush, what do you think of Leo Rush as the manager? He's great. I love Bobby with his little buddy. It's like it's like it's well, like our truth with little Jimmy, but we can see him. You know the best part of this? Bobby doesn't talk. Mm-hmm. That's the best part. He that is the best part. He, he's like a surgically attached extension of of Bobby Lash. No, it's it it's what they do all the time. It's the Looney Tunes cartoon with the giant like pit bulldog and the little yapping chihuahua right beside him. They I... literally do this all the time. They're doing it twice on the same show, only with AOP. There's two pit bulls. I'm going to pull this back a bit because somebody's in uh, Alex Carr's in the chat room saying uh, eventually WWE audience is going to get so sick of the product. They're going to shut the TVs off. Well, yeah, but they're already not watching. The ratings are not good. The ratings are not good, but people are on social media and you know doing social media things uh, and, and doing that. It's, it's not all rating. The ratings don't mean anything anymore. Yeah, I know. But like you should read some of the social media posts. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> Because, well, I mean, just in my time limit alone, they are not positive. Right, right, right. And be, I'd be curious to see what that that that, that broad uh, a swath of it. But, I mean, just as much as there's the internet wrestling community saying what we're saying about things and uh, corresponding with the Jimmy Corderas on, on Twitter, I always see him. Oh, God bless Jimmy Cordera. Some of the people that he responds to are between him and Lance Storm. Those Canadians, they're way too nice for Twitter. Uh, but anyways, um, but, <laughs> but, but you know, I, while there's that, there's just as many people that are just like, yay, Roman Reigns, right? I mean, no, there, there, there is still there there's still a general audience that does like that this, and this is wrestling to them. Again, not wrestling fans, WWE fans, and that's what this is catering towards. I don't know. There's a lot of people that say yay shield. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they necessarily say Roman yay Roman Reigns. What else happened today? I mean, let's see. Uh, Elias, Elias uh, Owens and uh, uh, Leo Rush. I, I do like that. If if you know, when... I, I I want a video game of uh, Leo Rush trying to escape Kevin Owens. That was amazing. That was pretty cool. Yeah, no, that was great. It was all in the same segment. It was my favorite segment of the night. Absolutely. It was the most fun. Yeah. Um, It looked like Natalia was going to challenge Ronda Rousey. It seemed like they were setting up for that. Like, hey, completely do an open challenge, and here she comes out, right? It would have been kind of cool if they actually did it, mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, nothing. They're really good at teasing these things out. I and by but, really but, you know, and by really good I mean beating them to death until I want to shoot the freaking horse. Sorg, I don't want to watch like Braun Strowman anymore. Really? I don't. I don't want Did to. Did they ruin Braun for you? Yes. Oh. Uh, they ruined. Bra I like every segment that had the Shield or bacon mac and cheese. I don't care about any of it. Uh, I don't care about a blessed thing. And you it. got them like all night long. Yep. They, they were two thirds of the show. Mm -hmm. They were two thirds of the show. And I'm sure at some point I will be able to do some math to corroborate that. Yeah. It, it's completely unnecessary. Where, where was the roster? Where, yeah, where's where, the rest of the roster? Where's the rest of the roster? Mm-hmm. Like, they don't even know what they're doing with the rest of the... Ro like, Lashley should be furious at Kevin Owens his first time back. Mm -hmm. But no, they realized, oh, we didn't finish the feud with Elias. Mm -hmm. And they still haven't. Like, uh, I, none of this makes any sense. Oh, yeah, it's also it's also setting up for a tag match of the, the two of them against uh, Lashley and Cena. Yeah. In oh, by the way, we're never getting a tag title match ever again with anyone who is a main eventer. It does seem like it, so, doesn't it? So, so if you liked watching the B team, I'm sorry. If you did not know Rhino was still employed until this very point, oh. I'm sorry. Um, if you like the revival, well, you can catch them on WWE main event probably. I don't even know at this point. Like, we're never getting a tag title match. Again, un 
Unless it's main event. Hey, remember when we were we were talking about how we were making the Intercontinental title so important, even, and then yep. we had like the crap like we had tonight. Like it's it's well, it, it, and all right, props to Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. They had a good match. Yeah, but guess but guess what? In the past six months, they've had thirty thousand good matches. Yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking done. You did an Iron Man match, and that didn't end the feud. It, it elongated the feud, if anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, we can let things end sometimes. Mm -hmm. This isn't a fucking comic book. Like, you want to call Raw an episodic show? Fucking end the episode! That's right, there's no conclusion. Like, there's no conclusion at all. Sometimes you can just have a Freak of the Week episode. Or a clip show. <laughs> oh, no. Trust me. Raw's enough of a clip show as oh, it is. Brother. Yeah, it is, Raw, actually. Now that I think is. about it, yeah. We had the third week in a row of Chad Gable suplexing people from the Ascension. Mm -hmm. Third week in a row. I guarantee, I didn't even know which one he faced. I guarantee next week Bobby Roode is going to face the other one. I'm pretty sure I called the wrong one on Twitter. <laughs> it's okay. It's None I, of it matters. I, yeah. Oh. None of it. It's not like it's not like the Ascension or Rude and Gable are ever getting tag title shots anytime soon. Yeah, I had a very tired night. It was a struggle tonight. Uh, tonight, you know what? I'm going to go. Um, an hour fifteen is watchable for Raw. Wow, that's. Uh, I that's didn't even gen like. I didn't even like the Undertaker promo. No, no, the Undertaker promo is useless because. Um. Okay, Kane's great. Kane's gonna be there. Great. So we're just setting up a tag team match. Featuring the return of Shawn Michaels at Crown Royale, which is what I'm calling it from now on. I called something else Crown Royal recently. <laughs> it's it's Crown Royal. What WWE did I, what Crown did I, Royal. Like something like like something like for real that was like, oh the uh, the Crown Plaza Hotel. Uh, I was <laughs> I was dropping somebody off on Lyft and I was like, yeah 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 I know you're going up to the Crown Royale Hotel right? It's like no that's something different. <laughs> uh, Tina says about ten minutes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's see. She got. She, she she said she got home at seven uh, Pacific time. So that's like that was like the last hour of Raw. That, yeah. Okay. That's How fair. Are you watching Raw. I didn't think you even get it real time out there. Oh yeah, you can get real time out there. You can. Like yeah, absolutely. Like legit. Yeah. Oh. Pretty sure. I don't remember. Pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure there's two feeds. Just like I like I have HBO. I have an HBO West Coast feed. So if I miss something at eight, I can watch it again at eleven. Okay. Um, let's see. If I had to twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. Why? No, because all right, I'll say something good. The Bain the Bailey versus Dana Brooke match was legitimately great. Actually it was good. It, it was a it really was good really good. It was a very good use of Dana Brooke, uh very good use of Bailey. Good reminder. I would have liked to see Dana get the win. I would have liked to see Dana get the win. But when you're Bailey and Sasha and you bring out all the Connors Cure kids, he ain't going to lose a match. Mm -mm. Let's, mm -mm. let's be honest. Mm -mm. Let's be real. Like, uh, Matt Carlin's also fell asleep around 8.30, so good morning. Um, oh. oh, oh, Tina has sling. That's how you do it. Ah, excellent. Way to sling it in. Yeah, I, I was know. gonna say because I felt like it. I like I think cable systems don't have it, but like like I always that always felt like a satellite dish thing to me. I know there right? are people. I know there are people who do podcasts that watch Raw live. Yeah, on the West Coast. Yeah, there's like ways. I, I know that. I tweet. There's ways. Them. There's ways. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are legal um, ways too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just yeah. whenever I was out there, it was whatever cable system, like or maybe it was a hotel cable or something. Oh yeah, hotels. Yeah, with, you did. You'd have to have like a cable package. Yeah, thing. or whatever cable package that the people were staying with, or something. Yeah. It just it was like, oh, I guess I'm waiting three more hours. Don't look at Twitter. Uh, so um, and I, then so I was like, how do you live this way, disconnected from everybody else? <laughs> so, but, so sword. Was there anything else that happened on Raw that we need to discuss? Ah, uh, no. Uh, Mayor Kane is going to be in Australia. Yeah, to set up a tag team match and. Crown Royal. Yay! Yay. I do? am excited. This is like, it was announced tonight, so I want to mention just briefly. We'll talk more about it, I feel, tomorrow, right? Um, oh, we're going to go into it. I, okay, aside from everything else for it being a Saudi Arabia show, I like that it's a tournament. 
No, I I hate the whole really? thing. I hate the whole thing. Hate the whole thing. All right, we are, we're not going to get that because it's going to be a whole other mm-hmm. show. And I want to talk about pleasant things like Lucha Underground. Um, yeah, we're going to Lucha next. So uh, if you're on the stream, stay tuned. That's right. I'm going to be happy in about five minutes. Or or, so or check in on that uh, Wrestling Mayhem show Master Feed. We usually uh, post the uh, Mayhem Underground uh, lately Tuesdays, uh, probably uh, uh, late morning or early afternoon. Uh, and then we try to have a wrap up for you here in the mornings. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here live on the Facebook Live. We got a, a lot of stuff, a special program note. We're going to actually aim to start the stream, stream for Wrestling Mayhem Show at about 9.30 Eastern time. Uh, we are doing a special edition. Thrifty will be joining us, but we're also going to be recording a live Thrifty starting at 8.30 Eastern time on the Thrifty Podcast uh, channel on Facebook. So a lot of podcasting on Podcast Day this week, sir. Excellent. I like it. All right, and um, other than that, and we also have, oh, stay tuned, 9 p.m. Eastern time on IndieWrestling.us. We're going to have an intergender roundtable. We have, um, hold on, I can get the message real quick, but I know we have Marcus Mann, who's been, of course, booking for uh, Rise Wrestling that has a lot of intergender wrestling. Jinx, who is in the uh, Keystone State Dude Core tag team with Sean Phoenix that I got to see debut for Rise a little bit ago. And we're going to have Emily Fear from Talking Honor joining us as well. Uh, so looking forward to that. Going to be a good mix of people. And we're going to have a good discussion, a special edition of the Indie Mayhem Show. And you can join us live for that discussion Tuesday at 10 p.m. on the IndieWrestling.us uh, page. Also, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to have a link I'll be sharing out soon as it's up. But uh, we recorded Lucha Fiesta Pittsburgh here on Sunday, directly across the street. It happened and had Ultimo Dragon, Carisco, Sam Adonis, and a lot of the friends of the show were a part of this show. Uh, I, if you've been following my social media, Mayhem or Indie Wrestling's uh, US's social media, you've seen a lot of Beast Man, for instance. Uh, but there's <laughs> a lot of fun stuff going on. Uh, so stay tuned for that and all the stuff. And please go check out the Indie Wrestling US network. We just put out. The very first welterweight wrestling show, as well as the latest episode, part two of the Raven discussion with Shirley Doe and Duke Davis on Hardcore Memories. Get your week free trial today. Uh, Get the link over at IndieWrestling.us for the Indie Wrestling Network. And thank you so much for joining us, Tina and Alex and Alex and Matt and everybody else, Brandon and everybody else that's been there um, on the pay-per-view. Um... (laughs) <laughs> Brandon is pointing out, and this goes to my point I was telling you earlier about ratings, Mike. Uh, it's funny because they said that the pay-per-view was the number one show that was watched. No, 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 no. It said the most they socially interacted. Mo- yes, but again, read those posts. <laughs> <laughs> Interaction does not always mean positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A lot of what the hell is this crap? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why is Brock kicking Legos? Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Mad Mike. 483 on the tweets. Oh, yeah. I will be live tweeting Lucha Underground at some point this week. Uh, hopefully, someone hasn't seen it before me. Orgatron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's funny. Okay, we'll talk about that on that show. But well, we'll <laughs> see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network.